For the first time since war began in 2011, China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi visited Syria. The two parties agreed on a new stage in bilateral ties and discussed Syria's involvement in China's Belt and Road Initiative for its geopolitical location and its senior role in the region. The significance of the visit is highly symbolic, that it comes on the day of Assad's swearing-in ceremony, expressing those presidential elections in Syria are on international battles, not a local one. It also comes against the U.S. threats to all countries and striving to make Asia for all Asians under the Belt and Road Initiative and free of U.S. unilateralism. China's foreign minister and his Syrian counterpart signed economic agreements for China's contribution to Syria's economy and rebuilding efforts that have ravaged the country. We were waiting for such a visit. China can highly contribute in Syria because of Chinese companies' huge capabilities, solvency, and human resources to transfer technologies and strategic projects. We are hopeful that China's role in rebuilding will help with what the decade-long war has destroyed, including industrial cities and city centers. Syria-China ties began 1956, and it took a strategic turn after President Assad's visit to Beijing in 2004 that led to economic agreements. Since 2011, China has supported Syria politically at the United Nations by using its veto power and preventing any Western military intervention, as it made efforts to reach a political solution to end Syria's suffering. The timing of the visit to Syria of a Chinese foreign minister reflects the strength of bilateral ties between the two countries and China's commitment to help rebuild the war-ravaged country under Belt and Road Initiative. Zahra Derzi, CGTN, Damascus.